Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. Um, I wanted to show you guys something. Um, I want to do a video on understanding Matthew 7.10 and Luke 11.11. Give me a second here. Okay. So these are the words of Yeshua. And, you know, read these in context. And I was wondering, um, pretty much, what we're going to we're going to uncover this thanks to the books of Adam and Eve um, that we've been reading, and I'm going to show you. Um, so, you know, we all know these parables, and um, Yeshua says, you know, or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? And he says a similar thing in Luke eleven eleven. Okay, so. Um, <clears throat> So what is this about? This is about, um, bear with me guys, we all know how this goes. Um, what we're covering here are the origins of the serpent, something the Bible does not tell us about. Um, now in Genesis 3.1, um, all we know about the origins of the serpent, hold on, maybe that'll fix that, okay. All we know about the origins of the serpent or, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which uh, Elohim made, okay? More subtle than any beast of the field. So, we really don't understand what that means. And nor, just sticking with our Bibles, we really can't understand the words of Yeshua when he says, or we really can't understand the full depth of what Yeshua is saying. Um, in Matthew 7 and Luke 11, 11. Um, or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent, uh, etc. So the point of this video, guys, is what I'm saying is in these books of Adam and Eve, um, you could take your pick, any of the books, they pretty much tell, tell the same story. Uh, we're going to learn how the serpent became wicked. Okay, the serpent did not start off wicked. As Genesis uh, three one says he was the most subtle beast in the field, um, and that's just the cliff notes to the serpent story. That's all we get, and pretty much what we're going to learn, and we're going to use the example of in the Arminian book of Adam. Okay, um, I'll leave everything in the description box below. But we hear the story of how the serpent before the fall was actually deceived by Satan. He was deceived by Lucifer, by Belial, uh, whatever word you want to use, okay? Okay, and that'll work. Um, so let's read, and then we'll understand uh, these passages in their full context, what Yeshua was talking about. And this is how we know what we're reading is truth, okay? So, so here we are in the Arminian book of Adam. You can pretty much take your pick in any of the books of Adam and Eve. They all tell pretty much the same story. Or all tell, you know, we know this is truth. So, so Eve is talking and, and uh, Eve is telling her story. And she says, um, So Eve began to speak. The man loving and merciful God created Adam, your father, and out of his ribs created me and put us in the garden of the lights. To subdue and have dominion over everything in it. He commanded us not to draw near to one tree. Satan, having, having seen the glory and the honor that God had prepared for us, grew envious of our dignity and finding the serpent more subtle than any beast of the field. So, if you don't know the origins of what's in our Bibles, as Isaiah 14, I believe, the fall of Lucifer, what happened. Okay, all the spiritual, all the spirits and powers and principalities were created on the first day. <clears throat> okay, and um, and pretty much what happened when God decided to create Adam in His image, um, all the angels and the spiritual powers were supposed to revere Adam, who was made in God's image, though he was lower than the angels. And Satan and his um, and his legions were jealous and refused. 
They refused to bow down to Adam, so they rebelled, and that was the fall of Lucifer. So, and this is, um, so Lucifer was out to get Adam from the beginning. <clears throat> okay, so um, he found the serpent who was originally a dragon, um, the, 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 more, the most crafty, the, uh, the most subtle beast in the field. So we learn how the powers and principalities of Satan, the angelic forces of Satan, uh, took the serpent in as what in our connotation as a fish, as we are, as we are fish to the truth, right? We all understand the principles of a fish and water being the word of God. So we live, breathe, and eat the word of God. So um, we are fish, right? And so this is what he means. So if he shall ask a fish, shall he give him a serpent? Because the serpent was, in our language, a fish to Satan. Okay? So let's read. And continuing, I know you are more subtle than any... This is the serpent. This is uh, Belial, uh, Satan, speaking to the serpent. I know you are more subtle than any beast, so I will re reveal unto you the secrets of my heart. <clears throat> And he said to the serpent, You see by how much honor man was made worthy by God while we have been despised? Now hear me and come and let us go drive him out of the garden from which we have been driven on account of him. And we hear the story. And, and the serpent replied, I fear doing that lest the Lord be angry with me. And Satan said unto him, Fear not for that, but but be in my hands as a tool, and I will speak with my mouth to deceive them. And so this is the story of how the serpent became a fish to Satan. So in context, now we can fully understand what Yeshua was talking about in Matthew 7.10, Luke 11.11, 11, and we can understand the cliff notes in our Bibles to Genesis 3.1. Okay, I'll leave the stuff in the description box below. I pray you guys can follow along. Um, I'll leave everything in the box below. Um, it should, everything should be clear. Okay, thanks for tuning in, guys. I pray this was a blessing. Shabbat shalom for those who are celebrating the Sabbath.